Here's another video for Sonyu, and the question is, which kind of fields can I make into measures or dimensions? What are the limitations? Please adv uh, kindly advise at the earliest, there's no heading as dimensions or measures, just says tables. All right. This last part, I think, is a version 2020 thing, okay? In earlier versions of Tableau, right, let's, let's go, uh, not percentile, Tableau. All right, and we'll look at some images. If you look at like 2019, all right, let's see if I find it here. Maybe not. I'm just trying to find an image with, I think this one, oh, that's a really old version. Um, no, analytics, there we go. All right, so in this one, if we look at here, and maybe I'll just zoom in, the way the layout used to be is measures will be at the bottom, and dimensions will be at the top. Now, if you're a Tableau user that just downloaded 2020 and that's your first version, this is gone now, right? They've changed the layout. For the people who were previous users and haven't looked at 2020, right? You'll notice that measures and dimensions appear like they've disappeared, but they haven't really. So let's go through quickly what the difference is. Okay, measure. A measure is basically a number, right? Anything you can measure, so, you know, uh, a person's age, you know, a value, anything like that is a um, a measure, okay? Everything else is a dimension. That is kind of the hard and fast rule of understanding it. When you get more advanced, you can actually move things around, okay? So one example of a measure actually being a dimension is, let's say, an employee ID number, okay? So let's say you have 10 people in your company, all right, let's do a spreadsheet so I can visualize this. Let's say I have employee number, right, and name, and then age, okay? And we're gonna categorize this based on whether it's going to be a measure or a dimension, okay? So employee number, let's do a random number um, between, you know, that and five digits, okay? So we've got five digits like that. We're going to go JED1, so different names, and then an age between 20 and 50, let's say. All right, so the question is, which ones are age, uh, which ones are measures, which ones are dimensions? Well, the easiest one to kind of see is that name is definitely going to be a dimension, right? I'll just put a bold there, right? Age, again, is going to be a Oh, no, again, is going to be a measure, right? Because it's a value. Employee number, even though it's a value, is most likely a dimension. However, when you import data into Tableau and it sees numbers, usually by default, it's going to think it's a measure, right? So you actually have the option to switch between them. So let me show you how to do that. Let's say I have in this one, I've got unit estimate, right? I'm just picking any random measure, right? So let's say unit estimate. But instead of unit estimate, let's again think of this as employee number, right? So we change kind of the idea of how we see this data. Now, if I bring the employee number here, here I also want to see the name next to it, much like this, right? But if it's in the measure field, Tableau is going to try and do an aggregate. It's trying to do a calculation. So if I double click this, it adds up all the employee numbers, which has absolutely no value, right? Why would you actually want to add employee numbers? It doesn't tell you anything. Instead, I want to be able to see individual employee numbers. So in that case, this one should really be a dimension. So I can right click and go convert to dimension. Even easier, I think I can grab it and see what happens when you drag. Now you can see dimensions and measures. If you drag it above the line, it's going to change it to a dimension, right? Like so. So you can see it switched to the color blue, but the data type is still considered numeric. And that's okay. It's just how Tableau treats it when it comes to visualizations. So now if I bring the employee number in, it's going to treat them as discrete individual points. And let's say I bring each person's name in, for example, the country, let's say someone's name, it brings them in as individual points, right? So dimensions and measures is really just 
a, a convenient way or an organized way so that Tableau knows what to do with it when you do a visualization. As you get more advanced, you can actually use this to your advantage because I, I can't come up with any examples top of my head, but there have been situations where you're trying to create a certain visualization with a certain type of data and there's no default way or standard way to do it so you kind of have to hack the system and make use of it somehow but that's more advanced and if you have a problem like that maybe one day we can go through it right um the other part of the question let's see okay limitations just say tables okay so we covered that 2019 2020 versions all right so that pretty much covers the question if you have more that you're not sure about or you have a particular thing you're trying to do please get in touch with me and i'll see if i can do a video on that as well and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time